Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Armor of God Woodworks. We are back in the paint room again. This is where I stayed for some reason. I don't know. All the building goes on over there and all the painting goes on in here. So anyways, we're finishing up this set right here. This is uh, the second piece of the bottom unit that goes in a pantry. Um, so what we're doing today is we're, we're just spraying primer. Um, the importance of this video is to talk about paint quality and paint uh, viscosity. Um, so down here in South Georgia right now, it's almost Memorial Day weekend, um, and thank you to all our veterans um, and you know all those that have fallen in the line of duty. Um, you know our sympathy and condolences go out to those families uh, for the sacrifice that uh, those guys and ladies have made for the freedom of this country. We just thank you so much that you've allowed your family members to go out and fight wars and protect us from the evil that's outside of these uh, walls of this country. Um, getting back to the subject at hand, uh, the viscosity of the paint and the paint quality. Um, so we use a Gemini paint, um, and so this will be just a primer, it's an undercoat, so you know, it's, it's really important that you get the priming part right because if you don't, your uh, finished product is not going to look good because you're going to have to work it and it just, it'll never, it'll never look right because you can't really sand the finished paint like you can as primer. Um, so, give you a little idea of what we're dealing with here. It is uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 82 degrees. The humidity is pew, through the roof. I don't really know what it is, but it is hot and sticky. Um, so what we found out, and this, this works for us, it may not work for you, but it's something that you can try because it's something that we have tried and it, and it works very well. Um, with the moisture content that we have here in South Georgia, you have a tendency sometimes for this paint to bubble if it can't dry like it needs to. Um, so what we do is we put a retarder in to slow the drying process and we thin the paint down. Uh, it's very, very thin. I mean, it's almost like water. Um, so we spray real thin coats on, let it dry, and by the time we get through spraying that coat's dry, come back and shoot another one, let that one dry, come back and shoot another one until we get it all sealed in. And that seems to work very well uh, for our shop, and like I said, it may be different with your airflow that you have in your shop. It may be that this doesn't work for you like it does for us, but the way that our shop is, um, we always keep the fans running. Um, I'm not going to spray if I can't, you know, suck the fumes out. And, you know, with it being so hot, I like to have some airflow in here just to kind of keep me cool. And, you know, I don't want my, I don't want my pressure to get up either because it is hot and sticky down here. Um, so anyways, that's what we're going to do. We're going to prime this cabinet out real quick and uh, just kind of show you the process. It'll, I usually spray about three coats on it just to get it good and uh, coated and make it look nice and pretty and just make sure you don't stay in one spot too long because you'll get ruined. So let's get this one knocked out real quick.
So that's how we spray down here when it's hot and sticky. Um, make sure you put the retarder in. It doesn't take very much, just, you know, maybe I'm spraying out of a quart. Uh, so, you know, I put about between a half and a full tablespoon of the retarder in. Um, and so this is, this is what it is. See if I can get it up there where you can see it. Buto, Zytanthal, whatever it is. Um, but anyways, that's our, that's our agent that slows down the drying process and it'll really keep the, like the air bubbles and moisture bubbles out of, you know, whatever you're spraying because it helps it to dry a little bit more uh, consistently across the whole product, uh, project. And so we put, we sprayed three light coats on it um, just to make sure that everything's sealed up nice and tight. Uh, this will be in a pantry. There won't, probably won't be any water around it, but you never know, man. Kids go in there and grab a juice out of the pantry, drop it, bam, you know, you ruin your cabinet. So make sure you get a good seal on it so you don't have any problems like that. Um, but, you know, I hope, this, I hope these videos help you um, because we're all in this, uh, we're all in this life adventure together. And if you're doing woodworking and you're doing spraying and you're having problems and you can't really figure it out, that's what these videos are for. I make mistakes and I learn from other people that have taught me how I got a guy right here in town that he knows more about paint than uh, probably the guy that found Sharon Williams, I don't know. But um, anyways, if I have a, a question about something, you know, I can always just call him up and say, hey man, you know, this is what I got. So that's what these videos are for. They're to help you get better. Because um, if you're not learning, you're dying. And we want to make sure that everybody's learning something every day. Um, make it better. Get better, keep practicing, and uh, we'll see you next time, man.